MAGIC stands for Multidisciplinary uh, Application of Genomic uh, Assays in Clinical Practice. So that was an internet-based survey. Uh, it was online for six months and uh, about 900 practicing physicians took part from uh, 52 countries. So w we created a huge database, but mainly what we explored was uh, what parameters they use in order to make treatment decisions and uh, in how many uh, cases, uh, according to the profile of the patient, they would like to have more information, which actually could be provided by multigen assay analysis. They look for age of the patient and uh, for tumor size, grade, ER and PR expression, HER2 expression, and uh, KI67, and of course lymph node status. So we asked them to tell us the index of importance of using these factors. And uh, the result was that AIDS was the most important factor to make a treatment decision. And it works both ways. In your positive patient, if you are over 70 years old, then your chances of having chemotherapy is much less comparing to younger patients. But if you are very young, then almost certainly you are going to have chemotherapy. So age proved to be the most important factor to uh, undergo or not chemotherapy additionally to hormonal therapy. I believe because I, I, I have the experience of other studies we did in elderly patients, uh, there are a lot of reasons. Uh, but mainly is uh, the, the general perception that elderly people will die from something else and probably they will not have the life expectancy to die of breast cancer. However, in uh, another study we did in the past, the TEAM trial, we found out that those patients who do not die of comorbidities or short life expectancy, uh, they are overtreated, mainly in terms of chemotherapy, and uh, they, are don't, uh, do, uh, they are not doing very well comparing to younger patients. So we, we, we have to take uh, specifically for elderly patients. Well, uh, there are two things. First of all, to realize that elderly patients, when they are fit, and we can have uh, that uh, according to geriatric assessments, uh, they would be given the appropriate treatment they need according to the tumor characteristics, according to the d disease. And of course, the, probably we have to work towards developing drugs, uh, drugs which are more suitable for not that fit elderly patients, so we can help them a lot and not say that uh, uh, we shouldn't give chemotherapy because they are going to die or have serious side effects of treatment. Uh, we did find that uh, it was a profile of uh, a patient, uh, an elderly patient, with uh, very uh, high risk for recurrence parameters. And even in these profiles, uh, elderly patients are receiving less treatment than younger ones. But there it was also the question, would you like to have more information? And indeed, for elderly patients, we have the greatest demand for more information. This in my mind, says that uh, physicians are willing to give proper treatment to elderly patients, but they would like to be more convinced that this specific patient of 80 years old needs this treatment. And in this point, we believe that multigenescence, predicting benefit of, let's say, chemotherapy, would help. Because if a physician knows, according to uh, the, an Oncotype DX uh, result that this specific patient will have great benefit of chemotherapy, then it will make him decide more easily. The first recommendation is that uh, we should uh, assess uh, elderly patients with uh, geriatric tools to know how fit they are. 
then uh, take into consideration all risk factors in order to decide about treatment. And of course, we would like to have available for this population uh, the tools uh, we have, the multigen assays, uh, the tools we use very often for younger patients. Probably this is a very good population that uh, multigen assays would help us to make more informed uh, decisions. Give the elderly patients the, the right treatment. And if you want more help, then assess the parameters, but multigen assays are there, you can use them.